Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you a couple of ways in which I help teachers and students build their confidence when using drawing to show their thinking. Visual thinking, sketch noting, and graphic recording are all ways in which we use drawing to show thinking to others. We use it to show our ideas, we use it to show what we're learning, we use it to show some kind of brainstorming that we're doing. However, one of the biggest obstacles that we face when working with drawing is confidence. I can't draw. I'm not a good artist. I can't even tell what it, what this is. I, I'm here to tell you it's not about the art, it's about the thinking. Dan Rome, who is a, uh, a well-known visual thinker and author, once said that drawing is not an artistic process. Drawing is a thinking process. And, and, and that really makes sense. But I'm not here to try to convince you of this using just a simple quote. I wanna actually show you some ways that you can begin drawing and kind of be comfortable with it. So for the first activity that we're gonna do, I want you to take a pencil and paper or your tablet and your stylus, and I want you to create four or five of, of these squiggles um, on your page. So I've kind of given you an example of what I mean by a squiggle. These are just mindless doodles that I want you to make, but kind of leave plenty of room in between. Now, what if I told you that you were gonna take those squiggles and turn them into an animal, specifically a bird? Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna turn these seemingly harmless, you know, obscure looking squiggles in, into birds. And to do that, we're just gonna add the things that make a bird, a bird. So we're gonna add some eyes, some beaks, legs, and maybe a tail feather here and there. And watch the magic happen. These crazy looking, unassuming squiggles have now turned into birds. Pretty easy, right? See, that's what I want, that's how I want you to think about drawing. I want you to think about drawing without thinking about drawing. If I had asked you to draw four or five birds, uh, I think a lot of anxiety might have set in. Some of you would have been like, yeah, right. Or some of you might even ask questions. Well, what color is the bird? What do I make him look like? How big does he need to be? Um, it's not about that. It's about communicating uh, about a bird or about a, a, an object. And so you can kind of do this with, with just about anything that has some kind of defining attributes. So give it a try. Try another animal, randomly create some squiggles, and then add the pieces of that animal and, and kind of just watch the magic happen. So the second thing that I want to show you, or the second strategy I have to build confidence is to take your pencil and paper and just begin to practice shapes. Yeah, shapes. And this, these are really the only shapes that you need in order to draw, to communicate an idea. Now, I don't want you to just draw one of each of these shapes. I'd like you to practice several of them. So if you're gonna draw rectangles, practice a lot of rectangles, and then draw circles, and practice circles, practice triangles, practice that scribble that we did earlier with the birds. And so what I want you to do then is to think of these shapes kind of like we think of the alphabet and words, Letters build words, right? We all teach kids how to write words because we teach them letters. Then we have them put them together and, and they form this, you know, these beautiful words. Drawing is kind of the same way. Take these shapes and put them together and you can create an even larger object. So I'm actually gonna show you some examples of what that can look like. So once you've kind of practiced and got the hang of creating basic shapes, look around your house. Try to draw things that you see in your house using only those basic shapes. Don't overthink it. Don't try to draw the outline of everything. Try to break up that object into individual shapes and see what happens. Well, I hope you take these strategies and you start to apply them so then you can build some confidence in drawing and start putting your pencil to paper and sketch your thinking. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.